you know, we are all up here making law, and the law is important. I don't think anybody denies that the law is important. But when we make law that should be federal law, we usually wind up in court. We don't have an immigration department in the state of Georgia. The federal government does, and they should be dealing with this issue. But every year we have legislators that want to be congressmen or think they're congressmen that think they need to draft a bill to change immigration in Georgia. And, and I voted on some of those bills and I voted against some of those bills, but most of them wound up in court. And we're still waiting on court cases deal, dealing with immigration. Now I want to talk to you a little bit about common sense and I realize that at one time, those students, there was an age limit on those students. These are kids, now listen to me, these are kids that did not come here on their own accord. They were drugged here by their parents. Many of them have siblings that were born here. They really don't know where to go back to. So what this amendment does, it punishes those kids for the sins of their father. But I'd like to ask you another question. The administration has said they can stay here. And there's no federal agency that's going out there to pick them up. So do you believe they're going anywhere? They're not going anywhere. These kids that were brought here not on their own accord are out there working or going to school. And there's nobody that's going to make them go anywhere. So they're working jobs. So this bill says, we know you're going to be here. And we know you're working or going to school. But we're going to take away your driver's license. So you can't go to work or go to school. I mean, it's where is the common sense in that? Now they're not only buying a car, they've bought insurance and they've got a driver's license. And once you lose your license, they still have the car. They don't have the insurance, but they're still driving. They're going to go back into the work every day. I fully believe that the federal government ought to fix this problem. They should address immigration reform and soon. In fact, it should have been done years ago. But this is not the fix. I want to tell you, most of you all may not know a DACA kid personally. You may, th you may actually think they all need to be sent back somewhere that they had no choice in coming to or coming from. Do you know any of these people? I know one. I know more than one, but I know one named Abraham, who was the only sibling in his family born outside of America. All the rest of the brothers and sisters born here, he's the only sort of outling. He came to my restaurant for a job watching dishes and he qualified because he has deferred action. He washed dishes for two years. He showed up every day and he finally was able to get a driver's license. Now he's my sous chef and he's, he creates wonderful dishes in my restaurant. And what, what am I going to tell him? Hey, we got to take away your driver's license. Move to another state. We don't want you here. Because your daddy should not have brought you here. And you're going to pay for what he did. That's the, I don't understand the logic of what we're doing. It's like we'd rather have them on the public dole than working. 
I don't agree with the president's position. I don't agree that he should make law by edict. But I can't change that in this body. Mr. President, I'll yield the well.